Did you miss me, darlings? I know you did. I know you did. Don't lie. Nobody likes a liar. Well, I think I might know one person. <laughs> Just kidding. I lied too. <laughs> but anyways, our ape contestant. Do you know what that means? Oh, yes, I know what that means. Halfway there. 50% done. Once I do this eight times, I don't have to do this anymore. No, seriously, it gets very exhausting. Exhausting? Exact? I I I exact? Exhausting? Hmm. Well, anyways. Contestant numero ocho. Ocho. I am not... My mouth hates my body today. Uh, you know what? Uh, j just go introduce yourself. I I'm sorry. My brain will connect to my mouth cer certainly anytime soon. Hello there. I'm Edamame. And, uh, how are you doing today? I'm fine, darling. But as the interviewer, I guess I should get the uh, questions out of the way. Well, first of all, who or what are you supposed to be? You're like a hybrid of something. With proper introduction out of the way, I am Edamame, the leader of the Mameshibas. We are a group of beandog hybrids created by Japanese-Korean copywriter Kim suk -won. As you can tell, I was actually really popular, especially in the late 2000s, and later went international all thanks to Viz Media around 2010 to 2011. We are best known for our trivia. Trivia? Why? Well, it's actually based on a Japanese pun. Mame chishiki, literally meaning beans of knowledge. Trivia is a small thing, and so are beans. Oh, okay, honey, I get it now. So, uh, what kind of trivia do you have today? Um, I could go with anything if you like. Anything? As long as it's appropriate, right? Yep. Okay, tell me everything. Hmm, what's a good one? Oh, I think I know a good one. Hey, did you know that they... Um, excuse me? Hello? Uh, are you alright? So, um, I was just, um, uh, uh, I was going to tell the statistics on how bad vaping was. Is there something I said? Um, edamame? A little word? Yeah? Well, um, how can I say this? Well, considering that you've been gone from the internet for a very long time, a lot of things have happened. Elaborate. Well, you see, whenever you say, did you know to a Vaporeon these days, they, uh, they're unfortunately reminded of the certain event that has, um, happened to them. It's a, it's a trigger word. Oh, uh, my serious apologies. I, I didn't know. Don't worry. It's been a while since you and your series popped from the internet. Let alone the western side. Now, uh, if you excuse me, I'm gonna find him. Just... just stay put, okay? Hmm. If only there was something I could do about it. Uh, Esteban? You're, uh, heading off early? Yes, um, I'll be a uh, seeing you tomorrow. Why are you really leaving early? <sighs> Listen, honey, I want to do more interviews, but I can't. That copy pasta is a few years old. Grow out of it. Grow out? Grow out? Logan, that stuff is traumatic. 
no matter how long it has been. Sure, it's just a bunch of words, but it hurts. Words can hurt others, as physical pain can. It may not be a big deal to you, but everyone is different. Do you know how much I see this on social platforms, forums, and maybe some threads? A lot? Yes, but not much these days. But ever since the copy pasta blew up, I had to hide my true self. I'll... I'll see you tomorrow. No. Okay. Bye. Sorry for the hold up. Took you long enough. Rude. So, uh, what happened? Well, uh, he's gonna be gone for the day, so I guess I'm gonna be your host. Uh, sure. I guess we can continue this interview. Yes, yes, we shall. Well, there is one thing on my mind. Why are you in this competition anyway? Well, we just thought it would be fun to be back in the limelight again. I mean, we technically were popular. We still are in Japan, but in the West? I don't think anyone knows who we are anymore. Some hardcore fans do, but there's not a lot. I'm pretty sure there's some people out there who still recognize us. Or they don't. But I mean, we could always reintroduce new people. So, when you said you were popular, how popular are we talking about? Like, how did you peak? Like, what was the highest thing you could ever... No, shoot! Uh, you were saying? So, um... When you were, like, really popular back in Japan, was it just you? Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, believe it or not, there is more of me. More? Yep, we're quite diverse. In fact, I can show you a little bit more about my friends. You have friends? Yep, they're actually in this room here to support me. Who are... What? Uh, may I see them? Sure, let me introduce you to them. There's Black Bean, Peanut, Green Pea, Chickpea, Chili Bean, Lentil, Tiger Bean, Red Bean. That doesn't even look red at all. Soy Bean, Boiled Bean, Sword Bean, Mocha, and Kilimanjaro Coffee Beans. I like their mustaches. Thanks, they're very mature. Jelly Bean, special collaboration with Kiari Pamu Pamu, and finally... Bong. Well, um, I sure learned a lot. Yep. That, uh, one with the weird face, um... Mung? Yeah. Did you know he's sometimes called the Scream? Is it? Yeah, his face is, uh, based on the painting. Yeah. And the painter, Ed Monk? Monk? Mung? Huh? G get it? It's a... Yeah, yeah, I get it. It's a... I, I really don't like that face. Yep, neither do I. You know, um, I do want to thank you before I leave. It's, uh, I really hope that the people can remember who we are, and they really like us reintroducing ourselves to the internet. Well, let's see if the internet likes you. Because, well, your next opponent, I mean, first opponent, is Bridget. What do you think about her? Lentil did some number crunching and analysis, and based on the content sources that we bring, along with what Bridget has, and how Bridget impacts the internet, and how we did. Yeah, we're going to lose round one immediately. I don't know the chances of losers round one. Maybe we could take out one of the two girls. But it all kind of just depends. I just don't have a lot of confidence. But I do know that everyone is going to be voting for me, so... Plus 12 bonus votes? That's good, right? Huh. Defeatist 
optimism. That's a combination you don't really see that often. Sure don't. Well, tune in next time, where uh, I hope Estevan gets a little better for our ninth contestant interview. So, uh, what now? I know. Want to play Mario Party? Sure. Hey, did you know Mama Shibas are here to stay every day? The leader of the nostalgic Mama Shibas of a long gone era is here. Half dog, half fiend, but I'm certain that they are the cutest things you've ever seen. Out of the pod and into the match, Edamame will bring you content relating to content around the Mama Shibas and their respective franchise and random trivia. Because of their single source, ideally, the biggest reward we can give them is a plush series dedicated to that bean dog. The trivia stuff usually goes into the shorts. Wait, only that? This is all I can say? Well, here's your round one loser entry. Unless, of course, you'll like this thing. <laughs>